Greetings programs, this is Plump Runner. Very excited now that Krieg is coming out. This is my skill tree recommendation for Krieg the Psycho. I can't wait to start playing him. The Buzz Axe Rampage. You know, I think what's interesting about this special skill is that it includes some perks that are normally found lower down in the skill trees. This is no doubt an attempt to make it as fun as possible, as soon as possible while you're playing the character because let's face it, this game has been out for a while. If you guys saw any of the advanced footage of Krieg, you know you're gonna want to be able to do the light the fuse uh, skill so i'm gonna go right for the mania tree for those of you that have seen my skill tree videos before i get crap across oh you can do more damage or this is more efficient or blah 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 blah, blah. yeah whatever I, I do the skills that are the most fun the ones i noticed uh, i don't like ones that kind of involve math i want to do the ones that are the most fun and particularly for this playthrough since i've played it so many times i want mechanics that are very different than what i'm used to let's start with empty the rage i think this is going to combine nice with the perks i picked in hellboy so uh, trust me, go with this. I think your shields are going to be down a lot. Pull the pin. When you die, you drop a free grenade. If you kill an enemy with it, you get double XP. I think that's going to kind of be rare and hard to pull off. But again, this is a new game mechanic. And particularly since I I, I don't know about you, but I'm going to want to grind him up pretty fast. Double XP sounds like a good plan. Fuel the rampage. You can now be damaged by teammates. I don't know if you're familiar with friendly fire, but one of the really big different things about uh, Borderlands 2 is that there's no friendly fire. This completely changes that mechanic. This likens the skill that lets you shoot someone to heal them to shoot someone to damage them, uh, thus allowing them to do their skill more often. It's a completely different gameplay mechanic. That's why I'm researching this one. It, it makes the game different. So let me stress that this makes the game different and that's why I'm picking it. Thrill of the kill, a percentage of overkill damage. That's uh, damage that is over and above of what it takes to kill the enemy. Uh, that's returned to you as health. Now, I only put three points in this, and here's my mentality. It seems like you have diminishing returns once you get to 80 and 90, because it's like how much, you know, how much health would you have by the time you're able to kill someone? So I don't think it's worth putting too many points in here. This is the skill I cannot wait to get. I will grind as fast as I can. I might even skip a few things and go back to get those points where I invested just to get light the fuse. When you go to fight for life mode, you turn into light the fuse mode. You throw bundles of dynamite at people and you can move around normally. The bundle detonates when it's timer runs out. If you kill someone, you are revived. It's exactly what I wanted when I heard that you're gonna be a psycho, run towards people and commit suicide. But of course you get revived I, I just think this is going to be such a fun mechanic and you're going to want to die over and over again. Uh, but like the gameplay video suggests, be careful because the more you die, the shorter amount of time you have in Fight for Your Life, which in turn gives you a shorter amount of time in Light the Fuse. So be careful about that. Uh, feed the meat. Uh, I, I come I come back to this. I kind of had an extra point left over based on what I want to do. Salt the wound. I kind of like that skill because you hear him say that. It rip the flesh, salt the wound. I love playing with stacks, um, mostly because I really like the Mechromancer. The melee and shotgun damage are increased with each attack, so that sounds fun. I'm going to put a bunch of points there. Not that it's my favorite skill that I would have invested in, but it, it needs to get you to the next skill. Uh, this, Redeem the Soul. I definitely need that. You can instantly revive a downed teammate if you've played the Siren and have the skill. It is invaluable. It's, it's such a valuable skill to be able to instantly revive someone. However, this one, this this one kills you and puts you in fights for life, but if you have the like the fuse skill tree, then you're gonna get to take advantage of that perk too. Uh, and you get increased time during fight for your life. So again, it just sounds like a new gameplay mechanic and I'm really looking forward to it. So of course I did assault the wound just to get to silence the voices. I love increased melee damage. I just think it's fun. Again, this is coming from my zero gameplay. Melee damage is significantly increased chance when performing a melee attack uh, that you attack yourself Again, another thing that's different. Um, there's a slight chance I might really hurt myself. But again, based on the way they've really laid Krieg out, it, that doesn't sound like the worst thing in the world. And this seems incredibly cool. You want to invest all your points just so you can get to release the beast. Activating Buzzaxe Rampage. When you're below one third of your health, that lets you uh, instantly refill your house and transform you it transforms you into a badass psycho mutant. Um, when all is said and done, you get all of your health back too. I can't wait to do this. It's gonna be uh, many, many levels to you till I get to have fun doing this. But uh, I'm gonna grind up to that first before I bother with any other trees. Um, I wanted some of these perks here because it sounds like the Hellborn tree, it kind of makes you almost invincible when you're on fire. So you wanna, I kind of spread the points around so I can get 
get as many uh, ignite self chances as possible. Uh, burn, baby, burn. Fuel the fire. All damage is reduced uh, while you're on fire. And if you research all the points, uh, maybe not immune, 50% reduction, but I think that's pretty good. And I wonder if you can just cheat and stand on a burning barrel and be on fire all the time. This one sounds fun. Elemental elation. I like the stack mentality because you could really feel like you're on a roll. Dilutional damage. Uh, all elemental effect statuses uh, uh, cause you to have a chance to light yourself on fire. I like this because you're not limited to just using an incendiary weapon at this point. You can use any elemental weapon and you're still going to get the chance to uh, proc these skills. Uh, fire Fiend. Again, I'm going to melee a lot because I have all these melee bonuses in the mania tree. Melee attacks have a chance to ignite enemies. And then if you only have the 50 points, when you get down to level 50, Hellfire Halitosis. The only reason I rig the points this way is so I can get the melee override skill that allows you to breathe fire it's in that gameplay trailer that's what i want uh, again if you go over level 50 and you get more points i went down the hellborn tree eventually you get to have fireballs uh, i can't wait to play that that looks cool you will have three points left over once you complete the hellborn tree with this build and i chose blood filled guns uh the magazine size of all weapons increases which each stack of blood lust so there's a lot of stacks to keep track of with krieg which sounds really fun uh, i know you guys are probably going to uh, hate this or love this i'd love to know in the comments below i have tons of gameplay footage so please like this video please leave me your comments i want to try out everything i want to play with people on xbox live my xbox gamer tag is in the description please subscribe to the channel if you want more and i can't wait to put up some krieg the psycho gameplay footage plump runner